Little Chill Planes. Now, this is our first lesson, uh, first proper lesson um, for the boy at the back of the class. And it's really a kind of introduction to the book. Now, some of you will have read um, some of the book, um, and some of you won't. Um, however, this this is a this is a general. These are general questions that don't necessarily need you to have read all that much of the book, or even any of it. It will be easier to do if you've read. Um, the first chapter or so, but it's not impossible. Um, so let's let's look. The boy at the back of the classroom. So the first question is, what predictions can you make about the main focus of the story? And if you want to, you can use the cover of the book to help you. You can look at the picture and you can read the blurb but there's a lot of information in the first couple of chapters that can give you an idea of where the book is going to go um so have a think and just give me a couple of sentences uh, you don't have to write a big in-depth story about what you think is going to happen uh, and you, you can if you want to but you don't have to okay and the next question which really, this is the number one question. Um, you won't be able to answer this if you haven't read any of the book. Okay. Um, although I'm putting this out today, I'll maybe... No, I'm, it needs to be done today. If you haven't read the book, you can't answer this question. If you haven't read any of the book, uh, you can't answer this question. So what I would suggest is that today at least read chapter one. Uh, if you haven't already read it, read chapter one. And answer these two questions. So what do you know about the child telling the story? And then the second part of that question is what don't you know? There's something quite specific about this child that actually you don't know. Um, so... You won't be able to, as I say, answer that until you've read at least a chapter. So if you haven't read cha a chapter, um, there is a link, um, which I'll leave up all week. There is a link to me reading the chapter. So you can read along with me if that's easier. Or obviously you can read with a parent. And these questions here are, they're not about the book. They're more about you and about your view of friendship. So I've got three questions here. What do you think makes a good friend? So what kind of behaviours um, would you expect from a good friend? How do you show that you're a good friend? And finally, this is a this may or may not be a kind of hypothetical. How would you make a new pupil feel welcome? So if somebody new came to our class, what what could you do to make them feel like they belong there? Um, some of you might have befriended somebody new to the school already, so you might have experience of that. So you can talk about that if you want. Um, or it might just be a kind of imagining. Okay? So, um, I'll... This this is just today's work, um, although the story will be up all week. And if you write me your answers and let me know how you get on. And I will tell you the answer to what is what do, do you not know. If you can't work it out, I will tell you what you don't know about the person who's telling the story.